Okay, with this video I'm going to show you how you could draw uh, some bent aluminium tube or bent PVC pipe. Uh, the first thing, obviously you need to know what your idea looks like. I'm going to maybe draw something that might represent like a table, table leg with some bent aluminium. First thing I'm going to draw is a frame to show what size that would be. I want it standing up on its end so I'm going to use that one up there. Now the leg of my idea, I want it to be about 600 in uh, width and 400 in height. So it looks like I type in the 400 there first and then 600 in length. I'm going to click OK for that. It's going to use a little home button there so I can see the whole thing. So I've got a frame there like that. Now bent aluminium would have curved edges where it's bent. It doesn't just bend straight like a right angle. So I'm going to use the fillet tool here. Uh, I'm going to, I want it to do on that one and I want it to do on that one. You can choose more than one at a time if you want them to be even. And if I drag it out there, I'm going to leave it about, say, 25 millimeters. That looks okay. Again, it doesn't need to be massively accurate. Just look at it and if you think it looks reasonable, then you can go with that. Uh, I don't need that top line here, so I'm just going to trim that away. Now, what I've got here is a path that I want my bent aluminium tube to follow or bent PVC pipe. So that, with that path, if I stop that sketch, with that path, I need to create something to draw on the end of it. So if I go into Construct, I want a plane along a path. This is my path. Now you see here, it creates a drawing surface for me to draw. And I'm going to put that right at the end. I'm just going to drag it along and click OK. So now I have uh, uh, another work surface to draw on. If I create a sketch, I want to create a sketch on this surface. And this time I'm going to draw what the, the pipe will look like from the end. So from the end, pipe looks like a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle. Uh, we have 25 millimeter uh, aluminium at NIST, so I'm going to put a 25 millimeter circle. I'm going to put another circle on the inside of that because tube is hollow and it just has it doesn't have a center. It's not solid. So I'm going to make that about 22-ish to indicate that there is some uh, wall thickness to that and it's hollow in the middle. I'm going to stop that sketch. Now to create uh, the pipe shape, we're going to use something called sweep. Uh, if we're going to create, we will find sweep here. It asks for two things. It asks for a profile and asks for a path. Well, a profile is the shape of the aluminium. That's the aluminium tube, so that's the two circles. The path we have drawn, which is here, and what that does is it sweeps material along that path using that profile. Uh, we're happy with that. It's a new body. We OK that, and suddenly we have a piece of bent aluminium which shows and goes along that path and because we drew two circles it's a tube it's a hollow tube on the middle there as well 